Oracle eBusiness Suite architecture data model. So far, we have seen uh, the multi-org feature within Oracle, and uh, we are uh, looking at how this multi-org multi structure would be represented and stored within the database, and how the Oracle uh, database uh, data model would support uh, multiple organization uh, within a single installation of Oracle apps. So here, what we see is the, uh, the base product schemas and then app schema. So when we talked about eBusiness Suite, you know, we looked at the different modules, primarily the accounts payables module, the receivables module, purchasing module, orders management module, general ledger, uh, inventory, so on and so forth. So all these product modules are represented individually by their corresponding schemas. And so, for example, an accounts payable module or an AP module is uh, represented as an AP schema within the database. Likewise, a general ledger would have its corresponding GL schema within the database. And each of these uh, product schemas maintain or has the corresponding product based tables which store the data uh, corresponding to that um, uh, module. Now, the, the tables um, that are stored within the product schema, they are all, um, uh, uh, they all grant access to these, uh, to these tables to the app schema. Now, app schema acts as a uh, hub and spoke model. Uh, the way Oracle has implemented uh, the data model is such a way that instead of having a, a spider web, uh, they have created an app schema which um, acts like a hub and spoke model. And app schema has uh, all the product schemas primarily grant uh, access to the app schema so that app schema can select or insert, delete, uh, update all the base tables within the product schemas. And all the business logic um, associate, all the business logic within the e-business suite, which is implemented using uh, uh, using packages, procedures, functions, and triggers, are created in the app schema on top of the views which are defined uh, or on top of those uh, product specific tables. Now the views within the app schema uh, partitions the data that is stored in the base table. So for example, the AP view partitions the data based on the organization by, uh, by defining or by restricting the, the data that it can see uh, on the, within the base table. So for example, if you look at uh, the uh, OE order a header salt table, which is part of the order management. Now, the Western region data and Eastern region data, both of the information related to this two organizations is stored in one table, which is called the OE order headers underscore all table. Now, when um, the application needs to uh, view the Western region uh, data, what Oracle um, uh, does is it, when it connects to the apps, in the app schema, it creates a view that is defined on top of this underscore all table. And the view restricts the data that is, uh, uh, that it can, it can view uh, or that can be accessed by restricting it to that particular org ID. So if a Western region user is logged in, then the view restricts the underscore all table data just for that Western region organization. If, I say, if another user who is associated to the Eastern region uh, logs into the Oracle apps or Oracle applications, now the, in this particular case, the view restricts the underscore all table data to just the Eastern region view. Now here we have looked at the setup box and how 
uh, the chart of accounts, calendar and currency defines a set of books in Oracle Labs. And we also looked at the operating unit. It's an organization that uses ca Oracle Cash Management or Oracle Order Management and Shipping, Oracle Payables, Purchasing, Oracle Receivables, etc. It may be a sales office, a division or a department. An operating unit is associated with a legal entity. And information is secured by operating unit for these applications. And when we say information is secured by operating unit, that means the data is associated to that specific org ID within the base tables. So the multi-org partitioned objects, the multi-org tables all have a suffix of underscore all and the org ID column partitions the multi-org data by the organization. Now multi-org views partition data using client info. And all multi-org tables have corresponding views that partition the table's data by the operating unit. So for example, PO headers underscore all has a corresponding view called PO headers in the app schema and it partitions the data by the org ID. So, and if you're in SQL plus and if you want to look at the data of a multi-org structure, you might have to, you'll have to uh, query the underscore all table and if you want to restrict the data for a particular org, you would restrict the, uh, the data by using the where clause where org ID equals to that specific org ID. Now, if um, on the, from an Oracle applications access standpoint, when a user signs on, one of the first things that the user uh, uh, sees when they sign into the Oracle applications is the set of responsibilities that the user is assigned. Now, each responsibility in Oracle applications identifies or is associated to the functions of that particular user and uh, the functions uh, are defined by associating a set of menus to that responsibility. And the, and, uh, the data that particular user has access to is is defined by associating an operating unit to that particular responsibility. So if a user who belongs to a Western region logs in, then the, and he selects the Western region responsibility, by the fact that that responsibility is tied to the operating, the Western region operating unit, the user, uh, uh, the user views are defined or set such a way that only the Western region data is, um, uh, is viewed through those views and hence when the user accesses the forms they can only retrieve or view the information that is associated with that specific org ID. Now if there's another user who logs in using the eastern region responsibility now by the fact that that eastern region responsibility is tied to the eastern region operating unit now the view definition is set such a way that when the user tries to access the forms the data that the user sees will only be associated with the Eastern region data. And the Western region data would be hidden from those view definitions. So likewise, the when somebody goes and tries to run reports, by the fact that the responsibility is tied to that operating unit, the reports, when they gen are generated, they only generate the, the reports based on uh, that specific operating unit. Okay.